soldiers had died so you could vote. And she said, oh, all right. <laughs> so, so we got her husband down the stairs. We got them a few bills with their names and their addresses on them. Got, got them to the car. And then I had to fumble around to try and get his walker to fit, uh, which wasn't working very well. Now there's about four minutes left to polls close. We finally get them into the car. There's no room for me to go along with them. So I stood there in the rain while they went off. Moments later, they came back. And I said to my volunteer driver, did they vote? He said, well, I got there at 929, they closed the door early. And so he kicked the door and pounded the door and they opened the door and he said, these people have the right to vote, get out of the way and let them vote. And sure enough, they got a chance to vote. So yes, I'm proud of the story.